Hello students, welcome to another in our Investigating Science series. Today we're in grade 6 and we're investigating material properties. Now these are our guiding questions. Why are certain materials used to make certain objects? Is there a special reason? What are the properties of materials that make them useful? Think about it. How can we determine which is the best material for a particular task? Well, today we are going to be investigating such a question. But first, let us do some review of what we know about materials and their properties. Now you may know by looking around you that there are different, there are objects that we use but they're made of different materials. So you have your plastics, your metals, wood, glass, fabric, and so on, right? And of course, we use them based on what it is we want them to do. So if we want to be able to, to, to um, see something clearly, right? See through something, if, if, if we're making our houses, we would think of making or getting windows that are glass, right? Because we want to be able to see through the window. Yes, so we'd use that material, right? So materials have different uses based on their properties. If I wanted something that is um, waterproof, right? Something that is hard and waterproof, I would probably think of plastics, right? Good. So the property of a material tells us what it is like and that determines its use. And so the properties that we are going to be focusing on or that you, you should at least have some knowledge about would be properties such as heat conductivity, strength, some materials are stronger than others of course, absorbency, transparency, and magnetic property. For this, or for this session or investigation, we're trying to answer the question, which paper is the most absorbent, all right? And so you have to remember what absorbency represents, right? How much can it absorb or how quickly can it take up, right? Um, liquids, for instance. Okay, so let's check what we'll need for this investigation. All right, so we're looking at different brands of paper or paper towel. So we have newspaper, tissue, what we call tissue paper, and a paper towel. All right, we're going to be needing our ruler to measure different lengths, yes. We'll need, of course, our scissors. We have clothespins. I'll show you what we're doing with that in a little later. Or if you have tape, that can work. Our measuring cylinder that we'll use to measure out our water. And we're going to be doing this in, if you have a beaker, but we're using this broad container so we can have all the paper towels in at the same time. All right? And of course, you can have some timing device to be able to record which one work the fastest okay all right so what steps will we use and we're going to go through these steps so we want to get our different brands of paper or paper towel and we're measuring a particular strip now because this has to be a fair test we have to use the same size paper good so we're going to be measuring um, a, a size that is three centimeters. So we want to get three centimeters in width of our paper and about 25 centimeters in length. Okay, so we're cutting out that size paper. And of course, if we do it for the newspaper, we will have to do it for the other strips of paper as well all right 
So you, 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 you can get your pen or your pencil and mark out three centimeters wide by 25 centimeters long. All right, and we're cutting those strips of, strips of paper. So you do that for your newspaper, you do it for your tissue, same thing, and you do it for the um, paper towel, all right? So you just go, go ahead and measure out three centimeters by 25 centimeters. So if I go across, three centimeters is about the width of my ruler, all right? So you'd mark that and you mark of 25 centimeters length, which is about the length of this um, ruler, and you cut it out as I have demonstrated earlier. So I would have gone ahead and done my cutouts, all right? So I have three strips of paper, right? And they are same size, same length, okay? One for each paper. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna measure out um, some water, about 20 mils of water. So here we have our measuring cylinder and the correct way to do it is to make sure our reading is at eye level, all right? I'm using colored water so that hopefully we'll be able to see what's happening clearly, all right? So we measure out about 20 mils of water, placing it in this container here. I think I'm gonna probably need some more to cover the bottom of the container. So I'm gonna increase that measurement just to ensure that we have enough water covering the bottom of our container. Now, after we have done that, we have our strips in order to make sure that we dip them in at the same time, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to basically be um, attaching. So I can use my clothespins. All right. So this is the paper towel. This is the newspaper, of course. Let me just switch it. And this is my tissue paper. Uh, we're not going to tell you which brand of paper we're using. We don't want to be sued. Nevertheless, we're gonna try to place them at the same time, of course into our container with water and we're checking to see which one will take up the water the quickest, all right? So let's go, oh dear. Oh, there's not all at the same time. Now look carefully. And you should really see that the water is moving up. All right, hopefully they remain intact. All right, from, from what we're seeing here, can you see which one is pulling up the water quickest? What do you see? So we would have tried to ensure that the, the strips are all the same size, right? We place them in at the same time. 
using the same container with water. And from what we're seeing here, well, the newspaper, it, it hasn't really absorbed the water yet. The tissue has absorbed some water. Yes, a good, a good amount as well. But it seems as if the paper towel is just a bit higher than the tissue. Are you seeing that? We just hold it a bit longer to see if we can make a determination of which one is the best. So you can set up something like this at home. I'm not using anything fancy, as you can see. Just make sure that you get the, strip, the, the strips being the same size, all right? And you place them in at the same time, and you're looking to see which one is absorbing the water the quickest. Because obviously, if you have a spill at home, you want something that will do it in the quickest time, right? Using the least amount of material. All right, so I think here in this instance, for this particular brand of tissue, it is very good at absorbing the water. Mm -hmm. And I would say it is about tied with the paper towel. All right, do you see that? Very good, all right. So look carefully. We're going to be asking you some questions, all right? And we want you to answer these questions. So this is, these are the questions. Which paper did the water rise through the fastest? Which paper, therefore, is the most absorbent, right? And which then would be most suitable for cleaning up spills? And of course, we always want to ensure that we're doing a fair test. So how did we make this a fair test? So let's us remind ourselves of our observation. So we noted that when we placed the different strips of paper in the water, what did you notice? Yes, the water, and because we use blue, a blue coloring, we can see that blue coloring moving up, right? So the water was absorbed and you could see it traveling up or or a um, strip of paper, right? Yes. And of course, it would move faster through some one, one or more of these um, paper strips faster than the other, right? Very good. Okay. So we would have seen that. And from our observations, we were seeing the paper towel and that particular tissue brand of paper they were, the water moved through the fastest with those people, right? The newspaper, I, I can tell you that it hasn't moved from the bottom yet of, of the newspaper. The, news, the newspaper is still dry. Yes. So the newspaper is not a good material for absorbing liquids at all. Okay, so let's answer those questions now, right? Which did it move through fastest? or tissue and or paper towel. So which is the most absorbent? Obviously, our tissue and paper towel. All right? What can we conclude then? Yes? What can we conclude? The most absorbent paper is the one that the water will move through the fastest. And therefore, this would be more effective for cleaning up Spills. Good? So if we have spills at home, this particular brand of tissue and this type of paper towel would be most effective. Using our newspaper for cleaning up spills, certainly not the most effective way. All right? Very good. So what did we learn today? We are reminded that materials have different properties. Yes? Um, the material that, has the mo that is most absorbent will allow um, water to, or any liquid to move through um, the quickest and it, of course, will, will absorb the most liquid, all right? And because we wanted to make our investigation fair, we had to ensure that we use the same size um, paper or paper towel in this instance, right? 
the same amount of water in that same container, right? And the only thing we changed was the, the different types of paper. And that is how we ensured that we had a, a fair test. Good, I hope you learned something today. That's all for this session of Investigating Science. See you next time in another lesson.